Hi, <clears throat> hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day this video is finding you. Welcome to Barely Grace. My name is Grace and I started this YouTube channel along with a Facebook group of the same name to promote self-care. Um, I do focus my videos primarily around skincare, hair care, and makeup, but I may from time to time talk about other things as well and how they relate to self-care. So if that sounds like something that would interest you and you haven't already, I encourage you to like and subscribe. You can also visit us on Facebook uh, there in our group. We do have a lot of fun. We'd love to have you. So yeah, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I have been drinking a little bit of coffee this morning. Um, love this cup. Have a magical day as a unicorn on it. My sister got me this cup. I love this cup. Love unicorns. Love coffee. Love my sister. And what does that say? Love something. Love. Love your mug. And I do. I do love my mug. Uh, what? Else? Oh, I'm also drinking some aloe water. Um, I we my my oldest and I found this at Kroger um, a while back it is I guess it's Velo Velo aloe vera drink it is made with real aloe juice uh, this is mango flavor and it does say that the mango is artificial it does have like bits of aloe I don't know if you can see them in there um, but it's really good I like it um, so yeah I think it's like 10% juice. Uh, I mean, it, the, the main ingredient, I think, is water, which is fine with me. Um, yeah, purified water, cane sugar. It is it is kind of sweet. You can tell that they kind of sweetened it. Um, but yeah, purified water, cane sugar, aloe vera juice, aloe vera pulp, calcium, uh, calcium lactate, citric acid, um, and then it's got like some preservatives and things. Artificial flavors uh beta carotene so yeah it's good it's i mean it tastes good it's yummy um if you want something a little bit different i guess if you drink a lot of water and you don't like i don't drink soda really for real occasionally i might have like a couple sips or something um but if i want something like other than water i like things like this not as much as like coconut water i like coconut water and it's not sweet um this is good in a smoothie, and so is coconut water. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that I would do a little bit of a makeup look this morning. Um, I am getting ready. I have an appointment, like a follow-up appointment for my, and my oral surgeon. Um, so, I thought I'd do a makeup look, and I'm wearing navy. I have, a, like, a navy sweatshirt that I'm wearing today that I got from Ashley at Farmhouse Sass Creations farmhouse sass creations her information is in my description and if you use my code grace 10 you will get 10 percent off but yes i have a sweatshirt um and it's a like a navy sweatshirt so i thought i'd use this palette since i haven't used it um so i'm probably going to use like safe word um dominatrix down here and swallow and then uh, frosting. That's probably a, about the route that I'm going to go with that. Um, because it is my oral surgeon and like they'll be around my mouth and like I'll have my mouth open and stuff. I'm not doing like a full face. Um, I might put a little bit of, I don't know what this red mark is right here. But I, I'm going to put primer on and then maybe like, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But we'll get there. We will get there. I have my makeup bag. I have my brushes. So yeah, I had a pretty bad migraine last night and when I woke up this morning, I still had it and I just kind of took some more medicine and it seems to be a little bit better. I, I just pulled my star, my little star stamp. Uh, so I'm, I may do that today too. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, my migraine. I had a, uh, I did have quite a bit of a migraine last night, like pretty bad, really bad. And then when I woke up this morning, I still had a little bit of a migraine. Uh, but that kind of went away. Kind, I mean, like, it's not as bad as it was. Like, I mean, I was nauseous and had vertigo and everything. And it's definitely not that bad now. My head still hurts, but... I cannot find the primer I want. And I, I just cleaned out this bag. And it's... I'll use this one. This is a... 
This says it's foundation primer. So this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Uh, radiance with hyaluronic acid. Love hyaluronic acid um, because I have very dry skin uh, and hyaluronic acid is very uh, moisturizing and it is also plumping. It's a plumping agent uh, and I do like to be plump so uh, I'm going to go in with this. I don't know that I've, I'm sure at some point I've used this and it says like it's, it says it's a foundation primer so, but it looks kind of shimmery, and that is kind of the look that I go for. So maybe it's not like, like a crazy, like, color or anything. No, it looks, it just kind of looks glowy, which, hello, I love a glowy look. So we'll get this primed, and then we'll prime my eyes. I did have to exfoliate this morning because my skin like was kind of dry and through here and then like right there was dry. So I did exfoliate this morning uh, when I was doing my skincare routine. Oh. There's a little bit more I could pick up. Um, I'm waiting on a couple things in the mail. Uh, today is the Jeffree Star, oh, I did not bring a uh, makeup wipe, but I have a paper towel. Um, today is the uh, Beauty Killer 2 launch. Well, t I say today because I'm filming this on Friday. The video will go up on Saturday. Um, but today, my today, is um, the launch for the Beauty Killer 2 palette. And I will be picking that palette up. So I'm excited about that. Um, let's see. And of course, uh, while I'm looking for my eye primer, I find the prim the primer that I was going to use, but I found the other one instead. Here we go. So this is my eye primer. Uh, this is the uh, M2UNYC eye primer. Um, anywho, what was I talking about? Oh, I'm waiting on some things. So I've got that uh, launch today. I've got to pick something up in the launch. And then um, I have an Ipsy. Uh, that I think is on the way. I'm not sure when that's supposed to be here. Maybe it'll be here today or this weekend so that I can do a an Ipsy unboxing because I do love those. Um, I think like my Naughty Knickers should be in soon because that's a monthly um, that's a monthly subscription. So I'm waiting on a couple things in the mail. Oh. Speaking of Ashley at Farmhouse Sass Creations, I have an order that's ready on her porch that I've got to go and pick up. I may do that today. It just kind of depends. I may also get it tomorrow because, um, in fact, that's probably what I'll do because I'm going to her daughter's birthday party. So I may just do that. I may just wait and let her know that she needs to bring it to me. <laughs> And let's see what else. Oh yeah, so the tattoo balm. I'm still using that tattoo balm that I got. It is Lucky 13's Tattoo Aftercare. Their information is also in the description. Uh, if you use my code G's Girl, uh, G S G R R R L, G's Girl. It's in the uh, description you will get 25% off of your order uh, they have two different kinds of balms like one is in a tin and then the other is like a stick um, and then they also have like a wash I think it's a wash for new tattoos so if you're planning on getting a tattoo uh, or if you already have tattoos or maybe you have some dull tattoos or something like that then I do recommend them, and I recommend using my code so that you can get a discount. All right. Uh, let's... I do have my nice CoverGirl foundation. Um, I'm not going to use it as a foundation, but I do need to set my eye primer with it. I still, I'm still contemplating on to whether or not I'm going to do like bronzer and powder. I mean, bronzer and blush and highlight. I don't think so. 
Um, but I'm still, yeah. I'm just going. I, like I said, I don't know what this is. What this there's redness there and redness. I don't know. Random redness, I guess. I don't really have any other like errands or anything that I need to run um, while I'm going to my appointment. I can't really think of anything that needs to be done. So I'm probably just going to go to my appointment, maybe pick me up like a, because <laughs> right next to the oral surgeon is the smoothie place and they have good smoothies and I can, I can have a smoothie. I still can't chew a lot of things. Um, it just kind of depends. Like, I can't open my mouth very wide. So, I can't, like, take a big bite of something. So, like, sandwiches and all those kinds of things are, like, out the door. Cannot do those. And then even, like, what was it I was trying to eat? Oh, it was, like, a little Debbie cake. So, the cake itself was soft. But, like, I couldn't get my mouth on it. It was weird. It's weird. So, like, it's still, like, back here. Just feels kind of uncomfortable. And, like, it hurts when I go to open um, my tongue, I don't, I don't know, I hope this, I hope it goes away, I was, like, doing a little bit of research, just, because that's, that's what I do, I'm a curious person by nature, and I, I do a lot of research and things like that, but, um, it, it can be permanent, like, the tongue thing that I have, it, it, it can be permanent, I hope it's not, because it's terrible, like, it feels like, it feels like my tongue is irritated like it's been like rubbing up against something rough and like or like it's been burned you know how like when you burn your tongue and then like it's getting like that's what my tongue feels like all the time like all the time my tongue is like irritated and that irritates me <laughs> when my tongue is irritated I'm irritated okay I think I will. I don't think I'm going to do any, um, I don't think I'm going to do any, like, bronzer or anything, but I do think I'm going to put on a little bit of blush and some highlight. Um, so this is my Hip Dot in Solstice. Yeah, I've used this a couple times. It's a very pretty, um, like a spring kind of color. Um, I really like it. It's very pretty. So, again, I'm not doing anything too crazy. Um, like complexion wise because I'm going to have people in my face and in my mouth and stuff. So I'm just doing a little bit just to pull the look together, I guess. It's the best way to put that. Um, and then I will go in with my, uh, new Pacifica. I still haven't fixed, I talked about this the other day, like this needs to be glued back down. I still haven't fixed that, but I will, I will fix it. But this is a really pretty highlight. Uh, this is in the color Ice Baby. It's a mineral highlight. It's in the color Ice Baby. I do like it. Um, my youngest, you know, she plays volleyball. And last night was her last regular season game. She has a practice tomorrow on Saturday. And they're going to have like a tiny little, like a little pizza party or something. And then I think it's next weekend is when the banquet is. Um, but there's going to be like a tournament, I guess. Um, and we don't have any information like on the tournament yet. I'm going to do my brows. This is my Sugar Arch Arrival Brow Definer. Uh, Taupe Tom is the name of this color. I love this. This is probably, this is it's definitely my favorite. And this is probably the th second or third one of these I've had. And they last for, you know, they last for a really long time. And um, I do like it. I do enjoy it. I can't get that how I want it, so let me come in close. Um, I think I mentioned this in um, the video that I did talking about the products that are launching. Um, and you can you can uh, go in my 
playlist and see the I have a Jeffree Star playlist so you can see uh, but I'm going to pick up because the launch is here in a couple hours um, I'll actually be at my appointment probably like sitting in the parking lot doing my Jeffree Star order but I'm going to do the um, I'm going to do the bundle that has the two palettes and the uh, mirror and then I'm going to do the necklace I'm super excited about it. I used the last of one of my serums earlier and put that put that in my um, empties box. So that's and there's a couple things in there. So that's filling back up. I do like doing those empties videos for you guys it kind of gives me a chance to have some like final thoughts on a product and decide if I want to like pick it back up or or not <laughs> I do have my contacts on today um, because I don't know like if it's gonna be sunny and when I have a migraine the Sun like hurts my eyes a lot so if I'm going to be out, like normally on a sunny day, if I have a migraine, I would just stay home. Uh, but if, since I'm going to be out and I, it may be sunny, um, I put my contacts on so that I can wear sunglasses. I should probably get like prescription strength sunglasses, but I just never have. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do like face-wise. So I'm going to go ahead and go in um, and do my eye look. So again, this is the... Androgyny palette. Uh, this is new to me, um, but this is like the probably the second palette I think that Jeffrey did. I think that's right. Um, but it is new to me. I haven't even used it. Like I said, this one looks like it's been touched, but I may have accidentally done that like when I was opening it or something or showing it off. Um, so yeah. Uh, I should have brought my color switcher, but again, I did not. I'll just use this. This is what I normally use to set my eyes anyway. So I'm going to take this um, and I'm going to go in with Safe Word. Uh, everyone should have a Safe Word. I hope you do. Our Safe Word is Honda. I, I don't know why. Uh, we've always had Hondas, like uh, Honda cars, Honda Accords. Uh, we've had a lot. We've had a lot of Accords. We have two right now. My uh, oldest, that's what my oldest drives, is an Accord. And uh, my husband also has a newer Accord. Uh, great, great vehicles. How Honda became our safe word, I, I really don't remember. But that's what it is. If you have a safe word, drop it in the comments. I'd love to know it. Definitely want something that you wouldn't normally say in the bedroom. I mean, like, who's going to scream Honda in, in the bed? There's no reason, so. That's why it's our safe word. I mean, like, that's not, I mean, that's why it's a good safe word, I guess is what I should say. Anywho, let's stop talking about the safe words. And we're going to go into, um, the charm is like a shimmery color. That's pretty. I know I did it say that when I was talking about all these others but I think I'm going to dip into that uh, when I first looked I didn't necessarily realize that it was a shimmer so we're going to go into charmed and I'm going to start oh that's I, I don't think I was expecting that uh, but we're going to work with it so I'm going to get that in the outer corner and then just kind of go through the crease that's really pretty like I said I don't think I was expecting that uh that color like that much of a like a payout that's really pretty it should make a pretty decent like a transition color oh okay uh jeffrey's eyeshadow formula is just the best i mean that's 
It's pretty much the only eyeshadow I use. I mean, you see me like do looks with other with other eyeshadows. Um, but for the most part, that's it. I just use, and I have so many palettes. I do have a palette video, if you want to go see that, where I talk about and show all my Jeffree uh, palettes. So you can definitely go and see that. And I do have a couple of, like, palettes that I've done looks on, on camera. I've filmed looks. So, I have a, I have one for... I'm going to swap brushes because I don't like what that's doing. I have, um, I have a video where I did the Bloodlust, which is the purple palette. Um, I have a video where, I may have one where I did Blue Blood. I know I've talked about Blue Blood several times, but I don't know if I've done an actual video with it. Um, I wish I had my color switcher because I'm having to use this paper towel, but that's okay. Um, I did a look with uh, uh, Star Ranch, which I love. I love Star Ranch. I'm just going back into that same uh, charm just to kind of work it through with a different brush. Um, and then, let's see, Star Ranch. And then I know I've talked about the ORGY palette a couple times, and I think I did a look with it. So, yeah. Uh, I've done several looks with my Jeffree palettes. I've done a few like unboxings and things like that. Uh, when I got like uh, I think I've only gotten one mystery box since I've been working on this channel. So uh, I'm gonna dip back into the first. Uh, color safe word just to kind of buff that out some and then I'm gonna start deepening and darkening it up um, like I said I'm gonna use that navy color in here but I think I'm just gonna do that like on the bottom I don't know uh, I haven't got there yet you can tell that like Jeffrey's formula has improved over the years I'm not saying that this is bad um, I mean, I quite like it. It's still a wonderful formula, um, but it's definitely, it doesn't have anything on, like, the current, uh, like, the eyeshadows that are coming out now. They're just phenomenal. Uh, I'm going in with Dominatrix, which is this brown up here, just to kind of deepen up that uh, outer V there. And blend. I know I said that it, I am wearing that navy sweatshirt uh, and that I got it from Ashley. It is an Outer Banks sweatshirt. Um, it says OBX Outer Banks. If you have not watched that show, you should watch it. It's pretty good. I think there's two, yeah, there's two seasons. Waiting on a third. Right now, I am watching Vampire Diaries. I don't know why I've never watched it. Uh, it's really good. And it's very... It's There's a lot of drama, you know? Which I imagine if there was a lot of supernatural beings together, there would be drama. You know? Vampires fighting with werewolves. And witches and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I love stuff like that. Um, like Riverdale, uh, Sabrina. Yes, Twilight. Supernatural, you know, I, I, I enjoy things like that. I would 100% be a vampire. If you know any vampires, please tell me. Send, me, send, send them my way. Uh, tell me and I'll go to them. If you know any vampires. If you're a vampire, don't hold out. Let me know. I'll keep your secret. I just want to be one. The whole immortality really uh, is attractive to me. I love life and uh, I don't ever want to not live it. Like, 
I'm not the type of person that like gets bored and things like that. So I think I could handle that. Um, all right. So I think I'm just going to go in with swallow. Like I said, on the bottom, I may not do the whole, but we'll see. We'll see where it takes us. I'm going to use this little and swallow, which is this navy color. Poison is more of like a greeny blue. Um, and I want this like navy. Oh, <laughs> navy. Speaking of navy, so my oldest calls any like dark, deep color navy. And it's like they know that it's not navy like they know that it's navy blue but like maroon they call it navy red um like hunter green they call it navy green it's just it's funny and cute they know that it's not really called that but that's what they call it it's funny again i don't wear eyeliner so a lot of times i will use like eyeshadow as a an eyeliner type deal so I'm just going really super close to the lash line just to try to get something down there I don't know if my oldest has to work this weekend or not. Probably. I mean, I'm sure they do. I just don't know when or where. They have like two different stores that they work between. They work at Subway. And the owner of their Subway that they work at that's local to us, it's like a minute away, um, they own three different Subways. They own... The one here in our little town and then they own two in like the, a couple of neighborhoods over one of which is in a Walmart and so my oldest works at the one here closest to us and then also at the one uh, that's in Walmart okay um, that's okay for now we'll see once I put like mascara on or something I might do something different but for now that's good um, so now I'm going to go into this color here called frosting. I'm just going to take a little packer brush and pick some of that up. Well, that's pretty. It's like a gold, um, glittery, shimmery color. Yeah, I like that. Okay. There's also this deja vu. I might put a little bit of that on. We'll see. We'll see where this one takes us. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put a, just a little bit of that deja vu, same packer brush, and I'm only going to go like in this outer area. That's a really pretty, like a bronzy shimmer. So I like that. Um... We have some work that needs to be done on the house. I think we're still remodeling the bathroom. That's got to be done. We need to start working on our pool. We're actually, we have an above ground pool, like a little, um, and it's been in the same spot for the last couple of years. And we're going to move it to a different spot in the yard. And then also, um, like we have a new liner for it. Okay, I'm just going back with the original brush. I'm not adding anything to it. I'm just going to run it through the outer corner and the crease again. And then I think I'm going to go back with the blue again one more time. So yeah, we got to move the pool and get it ready. So I, 
I don't use the pool as much as everybody else in the family does. I'm pale and I like to stay pale. I don't like to be in the sun a lot. Uh, but I do, I mean, I do enjoy it. So, like, when I go out there, I do like it. I just don't. I think this year I want to get, like, a swimsuit that has, like, like the rash guards, like a long sleeve swimsuit. I think I might do that this year. Because I don't want to. I, um, I'm very pale. And I've had a couple of skin cancer scares. My dad had skin cancer. My grandmother had skin cancer. So, like, I don't... I just want to start taking better care, I guess, of my skin. So, if if that means, like, not enjoying, like, the pool, then, that, then so be it, you know? <laughs> All right. So, that's Androgyny. This is an okay look. I like it. Um, I do wish the navy blue was a little bit bluer, uh, but we're going to work with that. Um, I'm going to hop off, uh, put on some mascara, do something with my lips, and I'll be right back. <laughs> That's really funny. Okay, all right. Now, uh, seriously, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I used my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. That's what I used. Um, oh, I haven't used, uh, I need to do this. This is the MAC Fix Plus. Uh, it's like a setting spray. Uh, I've used it maybe once before. I did do a couple of little freckles with my freckle pen. With my freck freckle pen. Um, and then I went in with Diamond Juice. This is the lip gloss Diamond, I think it's Diamond Juice. Yeah, Diamond Juice. Just simply because it was the one that I had in here. Uh, oh, and I put my sweatshirt on. So, yeah, um, that's the look. And like I said, I didn't want to do too much since I am going to appointment but I did want something on my eyes and I needed to film uh, so yeah I like this little look it's okay um, this was the androgyny palette I'm really glad I have this palette just simply for the collectors aspect of it um, and then like this green may be fun um, I will probably use this more like in the fall or winter um, just simply because that's kind of the tone of the palette uh, but I do like it. I do like it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for joining me and staying with me and, and watching me. Um, I hope you do something today that gives back to you some form of self-care. Uh, whatever that might look like. Do your makeup. Buy some makeup. I'll be buying some makeup later. Uh, <laughs> run some errands, uh, grab you a yummy drink. If you've never had aloe water, definitely try it. It's, it's interesting. Um, but yeah, do something today that gives back to you, um, whatever that might look like, uh, because you're important and you deserve it.